talking robot with a Memphis connection. It looks like something out of a science fiction movie, and that's the point. Action News 5's George Brown is here to put the bits and bites together. Hi, George. Well, hi, Donna. Was it a bot napping, or in this case, a misplaced luggage? Will heads roll? Well, no one's sure. Either way, a piece of expensive technology created here could be anywhere. You're looking at a robot that looks like a human, is patterned after a human, and in some ways acts like a human. Do you have any idea what I am talking about? So you could walk up to it and ask it a, any kind of question or just say something to it and it would respond back. Andrew Only and others at the University of Memphis FedEx Institute developed the robot and based it on famed science fiction author Philip K. Dick. A lot of his uh, books and movies that have been made from his books have these machines that act like uh, real people. And so we thought that it would be a great way to immortalize them. On the left side of your screen, a picture of the real author. On the right side, the robot, a pretty good resemblance. So impressive, the robot head was on its way from a Dallas robotics firm to the Google headquarters when it disappeared. It is traveling around the world. <laughs> with lost luggage, the, the odd sock, all that kind of thing. One of the developers thought the head would be safer with him. It wasn't. It wasn't checked. My understanding, it was an overhead bin. And then it was gone. But where could a corporate spy be behind the head napping? Only has his own theory. Somewhere there's a warehouse where the airlines put all their lost luggage, and they're all in boxes like that. And somewhere in one of those boxes is a Philip K. Dick head, and maybe a thousand years from now, it'll be found. Perhaps found by another robot based on research done right here in Memphis. All right, so the robot head has been missing since last month. The FedEx Institute won several awards for the robot. The Smithsonian even wants to include it in an upcoming exhibit. Perhaps if it's found, do you think maybe they'll use FedEx to send it next time? Live in studio, George Brown, Action News 5. All right, fascinating. Thank you, George. We have new pictures tonight from a University of Memphis archaeologist.